So we had a recent uh, supposed rad cap failure, or at least we think, because we had a car that was overheating and uh, was doing some weird stuff. So we changed that rad cap and there doesn't seem to be any issue with the car anymore, but we wanted to check and see uh, if we could test the rad caps. So what we've come up with is kind of this little test rig. I have a pressure regulator. Um, I have a boost gauge just to let us know what kind of pressure we're seeing inside the reservoir there. And we've got a couple of caps to play with as well. So we can try a couple different caps. So first of all, what we have is a, a normal cap here, or by normal, I mean functional. So we're going to try that one and see where the pressure opens. Blake, do you want to rock the that uh, regulator there? And So right now we're at just under 10 PSI, up to 15, 20 PSI, and then we can hear the cap we can hear just a little bit of air leaking out the bottom of the reservoir here because the cap's just starting to open. So if we keep putting the pressure to it, now we can hear a, a pretty big leak. So that's a cap working normally and venting pressure at about 21, 22 PSI. So we'll back that off and then we'll put our, our bad cap on. So we're starting to build pressure again. We're up to 10 PSI, about 20 pounds there. And we're starting to flow a little bit there at 22, same spot. Hmm. You want me to give it a... Yeah, give her the beans. Hmm. So there's some kind of weird action. Now, I should mention that when we jerry-rigged this thing up and did the test on the first go-around, um, the cap didn't open until we think like a much higher pressure. Um, but like we think it was maybe just stuck closed, but we weren't, didn't have it set up with a boost gauge. We didn't have any of that. We just kind of capped the ports off by hand and fed some air to it. Um, and then after it opened, it started to do this kind of strange, I think it's still got It kind of started to do that weird uh, popping thing. So now we've noticed that with other caps that we've tried, we haven't had that same issue. Now there is one more other cap that I want to try. Which one is this one from? This would be the one off of Jenny's car. Oh, right. And the reason I want to try it is because we've been having some weird cooling system related issues with it as well. It's not even, it doesn't go on very nice, does it? Did it click? Well, it says, I think it, it bottomed out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so give that one some juice. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> That's starting to open there at about 26 pounds. Okay, don't bottom out my boost gauge. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's interesting. That one's opening quite a bit higher pressure than the other ones. So just a quick conclusion to our RADCAP uh, testing program here that we've invested so much time and effort into. Um, we were getting some weird readings or some weird results because we knew this cap had failed because it was opening really strangely and uh, at a higher pressure. But when I started testing other caps, um, I had these two here, which look just like OE caps, but they're not. They're this top brand brand. Um, this one was brand new in the box, and I wanted to test it just as a comparison. And this is one that I had gotten at the same time, same order. Uh, from the parts place and it had been running on a car for about six months and the cars always had kind of weird cooling related issues and we went around I actually tried a couple other caps as well but um, these two caps which are uh, have OE part numbers on them and uh, Audi logos on them so they're definitely OE caps these ones opened at 22 PSI as well as some of the other caps that I tried and these two, for whatever reason, open closer to 27, 28 PSI. So I don't know if that extra pressure is making 
a difference in the cooling system performance. Um, and I don't know why they would make them open at those pressures particularly, but it's just an interesting kind of result uh, to doing these tests. And, you know, luckily I had a lot of rad caps kicking around, and a few cars kicked around as well that I could steal some caps off of. But that's what we found. So these I don't think I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to stick to caps that are opening properly at 22 pounds.